Hi there, everyone. My name is Navika. I'm from the web team. And this is Miles. He's from he's a John Oxley Library blog coordinator from the QM team. So here at SLQ, we utilize the power of the Google tools, Google Tag Manager, Search Console, PageSpeed Insights, and Google Analytics to evaluate and measure all our internal and external web presences. They are all integrated and used frequently. They provide extremely valuable insights and continuous improvement to our online delivery. However, the focus of our talk today will be on Google Analytics, also known as GA. We could spend forever delving into the amazing intricacies of GA, however, we only have a few minutes today. I will start by providing you with an, a very brief overview of GA, and Miles will take you, talk to you about how we utilize the tool to evaluate a real-world example in the JOL blog. So Google Analytics is easily the most popular tool on the market for tracking web visitors. It is an advanced tool that provides you with many insights into your users and their behavior whilst navigating and interacting with your site. Whilst advanced, the true beauty of GA is that it is a user-friendly tool. On top of tracking all your visitors, it is simple to create and export custom reports for analysis. You can even set alerts to be sent to you automatically to inform you of dramatic drops in usage. Those are just two of the amazing features available in Google Analytics. There are plenty, plenty more. However, be aware, it can be really easily, it can really be easily to get lost in all the data. It's a little meme for you guys. <laughs> so with that in mind, the word of the day today is context. context. So what I mean by that is that data extracted to analyze the SLQ website, as an example, will have a different meaning versus data extracted from the internet, as there are two different websites serving two different audiences and purposes. So how we use it. We utilize data to bring meaningful insights around four key areas. Content. Is the information accurate? Is it relevant? Accessibility. Is it easily accessible from people from all backgrounds? Usability or design. Is a website well designed? Is it easy to navigate through? Is it easy to use? And usage. Are people viewing my website? How are they interacting with it? And where are they coming from? These are just some of the questions that can be answered when evaluating a website. Reports can provide quantitative data. However, it is analysis that provides the true insights. <laughs> This now leads us beautifully into the real-world example of JOL blog and Google Analytics. It's a beautiful relationship. Take it away, Miles. Hey, thanks, Navika. Um, I look after the John Oxley Library blog. Uh, I coordinate it on behalf of Queensland Memory. It's a, just a bit of back, quick background. It's been around nearly 10 years now. We've got over 1,400 blog stories on there. Google Analytics has been very, very useful for tracking the success of the, the blog over, over many, many years. And you can have a look here. This is one of the graphs generated by, by Google Analytics, and it shows you that uh, page views per month have you know, nearly tripled, or have tripled, from uh, April 2012 up to April 2017. So it, it allows us to tr track the success of the blog over a long period of time. The main thing is, are people actually engaging with our content? and? This is another example from Google Analytics showing you between January and June of 2017. This shows you the number of page views we've had, the most popular uh, stories we've got on the, the John Oxley Library blog. But more importantly, if you have a look on the right-hand side there, the, there's the average time on page. Uh, that shows you how engaged the audience is with the blog. So uh, that's often a very good indicator of, of a, a good blog story, is it engaging the audience? And you can see there by some of the times that people, average times that people actually being on the, the page do show that. And very lastly, uh, visits via social media platforms. This shows you by far and away, Facebook is the, uh, it has the biggest number there. Uh, we do a lot of promotion on the SLQ Facebook account and also through Twitter as well, but certainly the audience is coming, seeing our postings on Facebook and is, in, is actually coming through and looking at it on the, uh, on the Johnson Library blog. Thank you.